Hey everyone, Dead All Nerve Guy here. Prophecy unboxed, but it needs to be put together, so let's assemble it. Welcome to Tag. Time to put all that shiny stuff inside of this and to assemble everything. This prophecy should be awesome. Only one worries. I remember a 25 end spring being kind of a job to compress uh, in those stuck because it doesn't go all the way to the end of the tube. It's gonna have quite a pre-compression and quite a hard kick if I can even prime it with this 28 end spring. But first thing first, uh, one thing you wanna do with those long spring is uh, rebore the, oops, the hole at the end. I already did it on mine. Uh, roughly do it the size of this a little less if you want uh, I'm almost centered here but it's fitting pretty well it needs to go through otherwise you just can't go the hole is smaller than this one and it just won't go in so this thing being rebar uh, I did it with Dremel, but you can do it with sandpaper if you are patient because you need to go all the way down up to where the spline starts in the plastic. Now let's gut this prophecy from everything we don't want in it. Like this door. Uh, put that aside here. Yep, yeah, like this door. We want to get off. I want to get rid of these. Where am I screw right? Got that. I'm not gonna discard the part. I never discard anything. I'm just gonna leave them in the prophecy box. And if I ever need the part, I'm gonna have it. Drop the spring as usual, be careful not to drop it. Oof. I'm not even gonna leave that there. So all this is gone. I'm gonna recover those two screw for the new uh, dark gate. Let's put that aside, not useful anymore. This dark gate, I will not install it now because I want, I prefer normally to install the barrel first. I explain to you why later, why later, sorry. But first, like I said, let's gut it from every part we don't want. I'm gonna keep those return spring Oh no, it's okay. This one is nice and this one is too soft. Let's put those aside. Now we have the prophecy body. Now, for that plunger tube, this is the expanded one. That means there is some more carving to do inside of this shell. Uh, let's remove that little silicone rubber tab from there. And I'm gonna show you what need to be removed. For the one of you that don't know. You see here there is four tabs, five with the little one here. You basically need to take flush cutters and remove them from there. For this one I suggest making a little cut uh, from the bottom and crack the rest. It's very easy to remove them. I'm gonna show you how. Uh, I like to use my little flush cutter for those. Uh, for one of the two, it's a little harder because you don't have access to the base of the pin. But there is a way to do it pretty cleanly.
I on the corner there. Yeah. I don't want to scratch the interior of my shell too much, so I'm trying to go gently. Yeah, this is in place. So let's put that in here first. Let's lube that thing a bit. is feeling nice okay let's put a bit on those and uh, not now for those later on let's leave those let's leave this one in its place for now okay now the super trigger it is going there, meaning it needs lube here. And here. Put a little on the tip where it's going to push on the catch. Put a little... On the side where there is friction and you print and you're pretty much set with this just need to grab my spring that won't move now I already put my plunger Oh yeah, I'm just going to put it there. Perfect. Let's loop the sides of the sketch. And the bottom. where there is friction on it. Be sure you install it the right way. This is going to be a pretty hefty trigger to pull. Oh my. Huh. Okay, let's put those aside. Now, this bolt sled. I like to use this and this one for the bolt sled and for the screw that, I, that I'm going to need. They're already over there. So good. Let's put one here. Check the positioning. Everything is right. Everything is perfect. So I'm gonna loop it up on the little uh, on the little black O-ring. I'm going to put some lube or just just inside of here where there's going to be friction.
plus. I'm going to do the other side. And got its lube. Now let's lube both sides of this. I lube both sides so there's no friction because this kind of aluminum will tear everything apart after some usage. Okay, this is nice, perfect. It's gonna be pretty awesome when I'm gonna put this thing on. This, let's put that here. Let's make sure it's in the right place. The pin should go. See, there's just, it's weird. It's like two different kind of red. Just put that pin through. They are good. Harder than they were, I was about to say, but it went in. It went in. Now this is holding. I might have put a little bit too much lube on this. I'm going to rub it. That's what it's going to do. Everywhere equal. Now let's put a little on those o ring. And let's insert it. Oh my god, this is a tight fit. Now oh, it's in. Whew! This is a tight fit. I have to say, this is a tight fit. I have no doubt the seal is gonna be good. Yes. For this part, I don't really care if I got lube on my hand. I mean, pretty much all the part I'm putting right now needs to be lube. So far, so good. Everything is in place. And can I pull back on this? With this seal in, okay, let's leave it like that so it's gonna compress a little more. Now, the part you've been waiting for, that dart gate. The reason why I take my time for the dart gate is because I like to have the barrel already installed in it before I put it in the blaster. This way I am very sure it's at, it's at the bottom and I can hold it the right way. So for this, Let's take this magnificent barrel and insert it in. Now, when all at the bottom, let's tie it a bit, just so it touches. Let's check the centering. Centering is still pretty neat, so maybe I can give it a little torque very gently, equally from each side. You don't want to go too harsh, or you're gonna get your barrel crooked. This is still very neat. Wow, okay, a little more here, and maybe a bit here. I think this is going to be good. Now, to 
install this upside down it's normally pretty easy use the same screw we had before put them in the holes and tie everything into place nothing is moving this went well now before we close everything for this portion I want to do something on the pump kit this is the interior of the MCX pump kit and this barrel is orange but luckily for me a clear one came with the red barrel so you normally just try on it that went well and you insert it in but there's a trick it must not go past the the barrel adapter because this is finishing this is ending flush it's not like the original tip where there's a crease for this barrel to go in so now that we have this pump kit in sorry for that battery ran out <laughs> as i was saying a uh, six hour pump kit uh, now completely assembled there was only a few screws on it and i removed the first screw with the locking screw don't remember if it was on video or not why i check now time to close uh, this prophecy hopefully it will let's put that here holding there everything should close fairly easily It looks like I'm gonna have to open this thing to fit it in. I was too much in a hurry. Hmm. Like my honey badger kit can install the barrel first and then I just made that rookie mistake. Now should be able to easily install it. And yes, this is really at the bottom of it. Nice, nice. Now, for that red mica piece, do I? Yes. I will do it right now. I have my two sets here. Really, And one and two don't forget to lock it in so it doesn't move with priming
this is super efficient so far. This one screw missing, this one, and this one. Hmm. It looks like they want the body before it. Let's put the body kit before it. Okay, pretty simple. Here. Now it's stuck there. Let's put it a screw or two. Pretty sure those are not the one that goes there. Nope. But those are the ones provided. I'm going to use those. This is basically just a cover, so I'm not worried very, very much. Of those for the rest I'm happy I had long screws everywhere and this cover need to be installed first because the front come over the little lips here that forces you to install it first And I'm still very worried about my spring. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, probably cut it. Probably. So basically this plus this. Wow. The fit man is amazing. Will equal a great blaster. Okay, not so bad. Now, like I told you, That spring worries me a lot. It is long. The 25M was about this and it was very, very hard to fit in. But we'll see. First thing first, let me put back the bottom of this. Pretty sure I can put in the angle talon mag adapter to be flushed in very neat and this spare hardware to go in the sorting box and the 45 degree angle grip which I'm having second thought about but uh, I'm gonna leave with this one for now
Very neat. Moment of truth. Let's try... Let's try to fit that stock over there. Oh my god. This is gonna be... This is gonna be a challenge. Wow! Whoa! And the seal is staying in! No, I think we have a winner! I really think we have a winner here. Can't wait to pass a whole review on this. But now, before we do a final review, I want to have a slight impression without any tuning, without any fine tune anywhere. What is my work capable of? Uh, let me check. I got some. Uh, Dart Zone, no, Adventure Force, Pro Dart here. I love the look of those angle mag. Let's try this beauty. Uh, if somebody had a link for a red st aluminum stock switch or a stock trigger, I, I I would really like it. Okay, I think that's gonna be enough for now. Let's prime it first. And this is not as hard as a prime as I was expecting it to be. Two oh nine. Two twenty four. Two twenty seven. Two seven. Two thirty point. Nine. I think I have my machine here. I really do think I have my main machine here. Wow. I think that's it for today. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to stay notified for my latest video. Next video is going to be the review of this bad boy. This was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.